Welcome back for another look at the charts. Today we'll be looking at EURUSD, GBPUSD, AUDUSD, and USD CAT. And with no time to waste, we move to EURUSD for, for our chart. EURUSD rose yesterday and broke the 1.1905 resistance line, now turned to support. As the pair broke also the downward trend line, characterizing its movement since the 25th of February, we switch our bearish outlook in favor of a sideways bias initially, yet the bulls may be just around the corner. It should be noted that the RSI indicator below our 4 hour chart is at the reading of 50, implying a rather indecisive market for now. Should the pair find fresh buying orders along its path, we may see it breaking the 1.1990 line and aim for the 1.21 level, which capped the pair's ascent on the 3rd of March. On an ultimate bullish scenario, we may see EURUSD aiming for the 1.2810 resistance level. Should a selling interest be displayed, we may see EURUSD breaking the 1.1905 support line, aiming for the 1.1830 line, which held its ground on the 8th of March, while even lower we note the 1.1760 support level. Fundamentally, the pair seems to be mostly driven by USD in our view. On the fundamental level for the USD side of the pair, we would highlight the recovery of the US economy and the fast pace of vaccination in the US, while a risk event occurs next week when we have the FOMC meeting. On the Euro side, we see that the sluggish economic recovery of the Eurozone and the slow pace of vaccination may be weighing on the common currency, while on the monetary level, ECB is to announce its interest rate decision today. Moving now to GBPUSD for our chart, Cable seems to have restarted its ascent higher, aiming currently for the 1.3990 resistance line. We tend to maintain a bullish outlook for the pair as long as it remains above the upward trend line incepted since the 9th of March. Please note that the RSI indicator below for our chart currently is above the reading of 50, providing another reason to maintain a bullish outlook for the time being. Should the rise continue to be in the cards for GBPUSD, we may see it breaking the 1.3990 resistance line and aim for the 1.4145 resistance level. In a very bullish scenario, we note the 1.4345 resistance level, which hasn't seen any price action since March 2018. On the flip side, should the pair restart its journey southwards, we may see the pair breaking the 1.3845 support line and aimed for the 1.37 support level, while our lowest support level lays at 1.3565, which reversed GBPUSD's downward action on the 4th of February. USD fundamentals remain as above. On the GBP side, the fast pace of vaccination also tends to support the pound, while BOE's interest rate decision on the 18th of March may be among the key events to be followed. Moving now to AUDUSD 4 hour chart. AUDUSD rose yesterday, breaking the 0.7725 resistance line. Now turn to support. We tend to keep our bullish outlook for the pair as long as it remains above the upward trend line formed by the price action since the 9th of March. Also note that the RSI indicator below our 4 hour chart is currently above the reading of 50, providing for a slight advantage for the bulls. Should the bulls actually maintain control over the pair? We may see it breaking the 0.7785 resistance line and aim for the 0.7840 resistance level, which capped the pair's ascent on the 3rd of March, while even higher we have noted the 0.79 resistance barrier. Should the bears be in charge, we may see AUDUSD breaking the 0.7725 support line and aim for the 0.7665 support level that prevented any further losses on the 10th of March reaffirming our upward trend line. Even lower, we note the 0.76 support hurdle that kept the pair afloat early February. On Australian fundamentals, we would highlight the prices of copper and iron ore, which tend to affect the Australian currency, while also the US sign relationships should be kept under watch. Moving now to USD CATs for our chart, as the Aussie commodity currency CAT tended to strengthen against the USD yesterday, breaking the 1.2610 support line, now turned to resistance. It should be noted that USD CAD's drop in the breaking of the prevention level also marked the breaking of the lower boundary of the past sideways movement since the 3rd of March. Now, to switch our sideways bias in favor of a bearish outlook, though, we would require more consecutively lower peaks and shows. 
Please note that the RSI indicator below our four hour chart is lower than the reading of 50, confirming the presence of the bears. Yet, the price action has reached the lower boundary of the Bollinger Bands, encapsulating the price action and a correction higher may be possible. Should the bears actually dominate the pair, we may see it breaking the 1.2520 support line and aim for the 1.24 level, which hasn't seen any price action since the 5th of February 2018. Even lower, we have noted the 1.2315 support level. On the other hand, should the bulls take over, we may see the pair breaking the 1.2610 resistance line and aim for the 1.27 resistance level, which capped to the upside the pair's sideways movement from the beginning of March. Even higher, we note the 1.28 resistance level, which has not seen any price action since the 5th of February. On cut fundamentals, we highlight the level of oil prices, as Canada is a major oil producing country, while a positive risk on mood of the market could support the loony and vice versa. We hope that you found the report useful, and if so, don't forget to subscribe and to share. From all of us here at IronFX, best wishes for solid trading.